I've decided that when I die, I want my body to be devoured by sea stars. Because I saw it happen to a dead baby seal in a nature documentary, and it was beautiful and disturbing, and that is exactly what I'd hope for in a death ritual. I also really like Tibetan sky burials, but I think my family would be even more opposed to that than to feeding me to sea stars. Also, hi! Can you tell there are a million things I should be doing right now? I mean, because I'm finally vlogging, not because I'm talking about death, but you know me by now. Or you're new, and this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, in which case the first thing that you've ever heard me say is, when I die, I want my body to be devoured by sea stars, which is Honestly, a pretty accurate representation of me. Veering away from the topic of death, though, temporarily, let's chat about life for a bit, because that's a thing that you and I haven't done at all recently. Honestly, since sometime last year. I don't even remember. Was it our friendship birthday? That was in May. That's crazy. It's March now. That's also crazy. This guy's grown up a whole year since you saw him last. As usual, of course, I will be doing all of the chatting, but you are welcome to chat back at me as much as you like about your own lives in the comments below. Or about my life, because I'm as narcissistic as the next vlogger. But anyway, at least 300 of the reasons that I am ridiculously busy right now, or should be, are because my sister is getting married. She's marrying baby head, of course. They are disgustingly perfect for each other, and it is absolutely about freaking time. Because of this, I also have a couple of wedding hacks to gift to you, because weddings, I have discovered, have a tendency to be expensive and stressful. So to make your wedding a bit less expensive and stressful, should you choose to have one, and might I remind you, you should feel no pressure whatsoever to have one because cat personhood is a perfectly legitimate calling, I present to you this concept. The intentionally ugly wedding theme. Don't want to stress over colors or flowers or decorations or what anyone at all is wearing? Choose the ugliest options available on purpose. You can even invite your guests to wear the ugliest things they can. Own it, have fun, and allow yourself to be as carefree as possible. I'm about 60% sure that this is a fantastic idea. Maybe 48%. Someone try it and just tell me how it goes. My second wedding hack is for anyone who really wants a small and very personal wedding, but knows way too many people. The solution, while slightly terrible, is simple. Just inform all potential guests who are SVP that their names will be entered into a lottery to win a select number of actual invitations. You'll probably know fewer people by the time the wedding happens, or at least fewer people who actually like you. Maybe just definitely limit the lottery invitations to non-family members, because that's not building good relationships with your in-laws if they don't win tickets to your wedding. That's not the start of a beautiful relationship relationship with your new family, or your old family, but it is an effective hack worth mentioning. Probably effective. I obviously haven't tested either of these. I really should go, speaking of all of this wedding stuff, and actually finally work on my maid of honor speech, because that's a thing I do not want to improvise. But first, <clears throat> meet the latest graduate of community college. I probably shouldn't brag, but dag I maze and astonish. I will never resist a Hamilton reference. And yes, you heard that reference correctly, and I finally graduated Wizarding Community College. And also, in order to do that, I passed all three of my necessary clap tests, and get this, guys, my highest score of the three of them was for my American history clap. Those of you who remember a certain Civil War hippies incident will appreciate that with me for the miracle that it is. And the even bigger miracle is that I found out I actually really love history. I now legitimately impulse buy biographies and read them. So thank you John Green and all of the Crash Course people, and thank you Hamilton and American Musical. And now I should really actually go before I start singing all of the songs. Although it is a major life goal of mine to eventually ukulele cover at least one or two of them. But before I go, because of course I'm not going to go after saying I should go only twice, the organ of the day is the tricep, because it's fun to say, and it was one of the first things that I saw mentioned when I googled American history internal organs, because I had no idea what organ to name. And a huge thank you to Act Out Games for including me in your most recent subscriber shoutout. It made me extremely happy and also really helped to kick me into making time to making things again. Making time for making things again. I said I was well-spoken, but mm, that's not looking true, is it? And if any of you were previously unaware of Act Out Games' existence, you should definitely check them out because they are an awesome family of fellow homeschoolers who make awesome things together, and I like them. And also, Google Tibetan Sky Burials. I'll see you eventually.